a team of astronomers from the University of Hawaii has made a stunning discovery that could change our understanding of the universe. They have found a vast bubble of galaxies that they named Hulelana, which means to make a lay of stars in Hawaiian. This bubble is not only one of the largest structures ever observed in the cosmos, but also one of the oldest and most mysterious. It is believed to be a fossil-like remnant of the birth of the universe, as it is associated with a phenomenon called baryon acoustic oscillation, which is a result of 3D ripples in the material of the early universe. In this video, we will explore this amazing discovery and what it means for our understanding of the universe. Let's get started. Let's start with how the astronomers found this bubble of galaxies. Well, they used data from Cosmic Flows 4, which is a catalog of distances for 55,877 galaxies gathered into 38,065 groups. This catalog is based on various methods of measuring how far away galaxies are from us, such as how bright they appear, how fast they are moving away from us due to the expansion of the universe, and how their light is affected by gravity. By using these methods, astronomers were able to map out the 3D distribution of galaxies in our cosmic neighborhood, up to a distance of about 1 billion light years from Earth. That's equivalent to about 10% of the observable universe. But measuring distances is not enough to find a bubble of galaxies. You also need to look for patterns and anomalies in the data. For example, if you see a region where there are more galaxies than expected, you might have found a cluster or a filament of galaxies. On the other hand, if you see a region where there are fewer galaxies than expected, you might have found a void or a bubble of galaxies. These structures are not random, but reflect the underlying fluctuations in the density and temperature of matter in the early universe. To identify these structures, the astronomers used various techniques and tools, such as statistical analysis, computer simulations, and visualization software. However, finding a bubble of galaxies is not easy. There are many challenges and uncertainties involved in this process. For instance, there are errors in distance measurements due to observational limitations and cosmic variance, and also some effects of galaxy clustering and biasing that make it harder to distinguish between real and apparent structures. And many others, such as the assumptions and models that need to be tested and validated against independent data sources. Therefore, finding a bubble of galaxies requires careful and rigorous analysis and verification. So, what did the astronomers find after analyzing the data from Cosmic Flows 4? They found a vast bubble of galaxies that has a diameter of 1 billion light years and is located 820 million light years from Earth. That's huge. To put it in perspective, our own galaxy, the Milky Way, has a diameter of about 100,000 light years. And our nearest neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, is about 2.5 million light years away from us. So this bubble is much bigger than anything we can see with our naked eyes, or even with our telescopes. But what makes this bubble even more remarkable is that it is not just an empty space devoid of matter. It actually contains thousands of galaxies within it. However, these galaxies are not evenly distributed throughout the bubble. They are concentrated along its surface or boundary. This creates a shell-like structure that resembles a lei or a necklace made of stars. That's why the astronomers named it Hulelana, which means to make a lay of stars in Hawaiian. So how does Hulelana compare with other known bubbles and galaxies? Well, there are two other famous bubbles that have been discovered before, the local void and the KBC void. This void is a region near our galaxy that has fewer galaxies than expected. It has a diameter of about 150 million light years and is located about 20 million light years from us. However, the KBC void is a much larger region that encompasses the local void and extends beyond it. It has a diameter of about 2 billion light years and is located about 500 million light years from us. Both of these bubbles are also shell-like structures, but they are more irregular and less spherical than Hulilana. But what makes Hulilana different from these bubbles is that it is related to a baryon acoustic oscillation, which is a result of 3D ripples in the material of the early universe. What exactly are baryonic acoustic oscillations, and how do they form? Well, to understand that, we need to go back in time, to about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe was much hotter and denser than it is today. At that time, 
the universe was filled with a plasma of baryons, or normal matter, and photons, or light. These two components were tightly coupled and acted like a fluid. This fluid was not uniform, but had small fluctuations in density and temperature. These fluctuations created sound waves that propagated through the fluid. These sound waves were also affected by gravity, which pulled the baryons and photons together in some regions and pushed them apart in others. This created a complex pattern of peaks and troughs in the fluid. When the universe cooled down enough, the baryons and photons decoupled and stopped interacting. This froze the sound waves in place and left behind a characteristic imprint on the distribution of matter in the universe. This imprint is what we call BAOs. BAOs are important because they can help us measure the expansion rate of the universe, constrain dark energy models, and test cosmological principles. However, BAOs are not easy to detect. They are very subtle and require large-scale surveys of galaxies to be observed. Most of the BAO measurements have been done using spectroscopic surveys, which measure the redshifts of galaxies along the line of sight. However, Hulelana is a rare example of a BAO that can be seen using photometric surveys, which measure the brightness of galaxies on the sky plane, which makes it a unique and valuable probe of cosmology. What are the main contributions and limitations of this discovery? Well, on one hand, this discovery provides a new perspective on the large-scale structure of the universe and reveals a hidden connection between the ancient and modern cosmos. It also demonstrates the power and potential of Cosmic Flows 4 as a tool for mapping out the 3D distribution of galaxies in our cosmic neighborhood. On the other hand, this discovery relies on assumptions and models that need to be tested further and validated against independent data sources. For example, the astronomers assumed that Hulilana is spherical and isotropic, but this might not be true in reality. They also used a specific model of BAO to interpret their results, but this model might not be accurate or complete. Therefore, there are many possible directions for future research on this topic. For instance, more data from other surveys, such as Gaia, DC, or Euclid, could be used to improve the distance measurements and reduce the uncertainties. Different methods of distance estimation, such as gravitational lensing or standard candles, could be used to cross-check and calibrate the results. And different models of BAO, such as those that account for non-linear effects or relativistic corrections, could be used to refine and extend the analysis. The implications of this discovery for cosmology are profound and far-reaching. By finding Hulilana, we have found a fossil-like remnant of the birth of the universe that can help us understand its properties and evolution. We have also found a new way of measuring BAOs that can help us test our theories and models of the universe. And we have also found a beautiful example of how nature creates patterns and structures at different scales and times in the universe. Hulelana is not just a bubble of galaxies, but a window into the cosmos. In this video, we have explored the amazing discovery of Hulilana a vast bubble of galaxies that is one of the largest structures ever observed in the universe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.